Divine Muhammad, peace be upon him. It was a hot Monday in the year 571. The governor of Yemen, Ebrehe, made progress towards Mecca with his army. He was very angry and had sworn to demolish the Kaabe. The Kaabe was a shrine that people worshipped in that was then later turned into a mosque. His soldiers had gone crazy. They were attacking their surroundings, catching and taking away the animals of the people of Mecca. Among the captured animals, there were 200 camels belonging to our Prophet's grandfather, Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib was the chief of the Quraysh tribe, which was one of the tribes of Arabia during this time. He went to see Ebrehe to save his camels. He said, I would like to give back my camels. Ebrehe was both astonished and angry. He said, I have come here to demolish your holy Kaabe. You, on the other hand, are worried over a couple of camels. He couldn't help but say, What on earth is this? However, Abdul Muttalib remained calm. He said, I am the owner of my camels. The Kaabe is the house of Allah. If Allah wants to save his house, he will. But I have to protect my camels. If you try to demolish the Kaabe, you will have Allah to deal with. Ebrehe thought for a while. He became affected by the things he heard. He shook his head and then gave Abdul Muttalib his camels back. The people of Mecca were worried and they were running around in haste. They had no power to resist the forces of Ebrehe. They eventually abandoned the city and went back to quiet and secluded places. Ebrehe had huge elephants. He was going to demolish the Kaabe with these elephants. At the very front was a white elephant called Mahmud, which was leading the way. When it came near the Kaabe, it stopped and kneeled to the ground. The soldiers couldn't make the elephant get up no matter what they did. The elephant wasn't moving. The animal didn't want to move towards the Kaabe. The soldiers then tried to make the animal move back towards Yemen. Mahmud stood up and started walking. They then changed his direction to Mecca again. But the animal froze once again and wasn't moving a single step. Everyone was astonished. Some were even very frightened. They thought something was definitely wrong here. The soldiers then started their invasion once more. Ebrehe's intention was to demolish the whole of Mecca and the Kaabe. Then, just at the same time, something unbelievable happened. A cloud of birds that looked like swallows appeared in the sky. These were called Ebabil birds. They started flying over Ebrehe's army. Each bird was throwing three pebbles, smaller than chickpeas but larger than lentils. Each bird had one pebble in its beak and two in its claws. The birds acted by the will of Allah. Again, by the will of Allah, they started throwing the pebbles on Ebrehe's army just like bullets. It was just as Abdul Muttalib said, Allah was protecting his holy house, the Kaabe. The small pebbles killed everyone they fell on. They were piercing the soldiers' bodies by making holes in their skin. Shortly afterwards, the army separated and started to run away. However, the birds wouldn't leave them alone. They killed everyone with the pebbles they threw. Ebrehe also got what he deserved. He became wounded and then died. The eternal holiness of Allah was clearly seen in that event. Allah protects or forgives if he wishes. Allah can make the smallest birds destroy the biggest armies if only he himself wishes.